Hey guys, what's up? It is Curran. Uh, this is the M9 nuke, and I hope you guys like this because the M9 nuke was one of those nukes that I got so close so many times, and I got some crazy clips, but uh, I ended up getting it here on Favela, and Favela is uh, definitely if you had to if you had to decide on what the most close quarters map is it would definitely be this map you'll see a ton of tack knifers on this map uh, and a quick pro tip for you guys that are like mlg objective players you can get the the b uh, flag from right here see that i'm almost got it but then this jumping sniper auto shot is me uh but anyways m9 nuke i've got scavenger i've got stopping power and i've got study aim and let me explain why uh scavenger stopping power study aim is a great slaying power class and what i mean by that is you're never gonna run out of ammo you're gonna kill kids quickly uh with the stopping power and then you can spray with the steady aim this is one of those setups that is really good even if you're not using an m9 you could use like uh for example m4 and you're pretty much set because you can just spray you don't even have to aim you can just hip fire uh when i first started playing call of duty we're gonna have a little history lesson here back when i was like 13 or 14 I don't even know but I I got Call of Duty 4 I was like a Halo 3 player so I was like I hate Call of Duty Halo's where it's at but uh I got Call of Duty 4 and I was hooked the second I played it and what I used then is I used an MP5 with steady aim and I would just run around hip firing I never aimed and, and all my friends would be like how come you never aim down the site and I'm like why would I aim down the site I just hip fire um and that's a big part of the game that a lot of people forget about is that you can use a uh, submachine gun and just run around hip firing. You don't even need to aim. If you're one of those players that has a hard time getting your aim down perfectly, just start off with with uh, some steady aim. Don't worry about it too much. I mean, you can even use steady aim and aim, you know, a little bit, but like start off by spraying because uh you guys know what a gunfight is, right? That's when like you see somebody, they see you and you're both shooting at each other. Um and gunfights are more common in like Black Ops or games that uh, that take a lot of bullets to kill people because uh, Modern Warfare 2 it's pretty easy to kill someone if you have stopping power you know it takes like two bullets to kill somebody with most guns uh, maybe two or three if you have like a spray gun but like the M9 this gun takes two bullets to kill someone up close with stopping power um, look at this tac knifer what is he doing what a dummy alright uh, but gunfights are won by the person who either has the better connection or the better shot but you can bypass both of that if you just use steady aim and just start spraying at the person because the time it takes them to aim down their sight and shoot will be countered by the fact that you're already spraying at them you don't even have to aim in so that that vital one second that it takes them to, to zoom down their sights is enough for you to end up winning your gunfight um, and I don't usually go into like in depth about how to like get more kills but I think that's like something that a lot of people don't realize is that y it hip fire is your friend and that you gotta utilize it when you, you don't think like if you're sprinting and somebody's not then they're probably gonna kill you because they're already aiming at you or they're gonna be able to, s to aim before you so just throw up some hip fire just hold down the right trigger and kinda aim and then as you're shooting start aiming because uh, you'll be surprised how many times you'll start hip firing at somebody and then you'll get a lucky like headshot or something you know what I mean uh, so there's a quick tip right there uh, like I said M9 I got the scavenger steady aim uh, and stopping power set up and I, I hold out this middle building this middle building is kinda risky uh, just, just look how dumb these tac knifers are I love playing dumb dumb kids I mean there's th they're not all dumb there's a few that kill me and there's a few that knife me but there's nothing more satisfying than seeing somebody run right in front of you and not, and not get their knife out. I don't know what these kids are doing. Uh, but anyways, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys uh, about Black Ops. Because I know that's kind of a sore subject with a lot of you guys. You you like seeing these nuke videos more than Black Ops videos. Because uh, when I upload a Black Ops video, it gets like half the views. Uh, not that I'm like so interested in views. It's just uh, I don't really want to upload something if you guys aren't going to, you know watch it and you don't really I mean there's a lot of uh, a lot of black ops guys out there so I'm sure you guys watch that but I've been getting into black ops again just because I, it's 
it's the relevant game. And if you guys don't know what relevant means, it just means it's the it's the more popular game right now. So it kind of just feels right to play it. Even though I like this game more, I like Modern Warfare 2 more. I still play some Black Ops every now and then. And Black Ops, I mean, I just don't have as much fun playing it as this game, which I feel like a lot of people have that issue because they, they fell in love with Infinity Ward's Call of Duty. And then Treyarch came along and kind of just, they just kind of copied it. And it's like, I, I, I know you guys that are like diehard Treyarch fans are going to like start crying. It's like, they didn't copy it, they were first. I don't even know. I'm just saying like, I like Infinity Ward. The way they do it, it just seems better. I like the fact that I can kill someone faster than, than uh, it taking longer. And I don't even mind... Modern Warfare 2 public matches, even when I get noob tube, it's like if you get noob tube, this is another pro tip. If you're getting noob tubed a ton, and it's really frustrating you, just take out a noob tube yourself and start noob tubing. It's kind of fun sometimes. I mean, I've I've had games where I'll go. Uh, if you guys know Scrapyard, that's the map with all the planes. I'll go up top in a building and just like spray my noob tubes all over the map and get like four kills with one noob tube, and it's really fun sometimes. Even though I kind of hate the fact that that's allowed, it's still sometimes fun to indulge yourself and just go for some noob tubing, you know what I mean? Uh, but but uh, back to what I was saying about Black Ops, what do you guys think about it? I know a lot of you guys probably don't have it anymore or never even bought it, but do you guys like it? Would you guys uh, want to watch a video if I uploaded it? Because I used to do viewers' choices uh, until I started doing nuking full-time. And when I did the viewer's choices, most of you guys chose Modern Warfare 2, and I, I, the Black Ops videos didn't get a ton of views. Which I, you know, like I said, I'm not that worried about views, but it's just like, I'd like to get uh, a positive response. Uh, but anyways, what do you guys think about Black Ops? Let me know. This game's kind of wrapping up. I, this, this area I'm at right now is called Barbershop, and I just hold this out for a while and I'm able to get the Harrier here and Favela is a pretty tough map to get a Harrier on just because there's so much action and I throw a miracle nade that kills my seventh guy uh, calling the Harrier and this area back here is a great spot to hide if you're gonna call in your Harrier because it's, it's it's remote and nobody really goes over there to check and notice how there's a lot of action to my left but I don't shoot if I shoot, I'm going to die. They're going to know where I am. They're going to come at me. Uh, and this spot might not seem like it's that hidden. But think about, there's not that that many people that come back here. And I can see stuff through my pallet, so if they're coming, I can kill them. Uh, anyways, before I go, guys, I want to talk a little bit more about the no kill streaks nuke. I really, really want to get that for you guys. Uh, so... I thought what I would do is I would just use whatever I felt like using and trying to get it on my own and then upload it as like a surprise video whenever I get it. Uh, so look forward to that. And if you guys didn't realize, I am done with my pistol nukes. Yay! Uh, so all that's left is the launcher nukes and maybe like a claymore nuke and a knife only nuke. And I decided I am going to do a stinger nuke. I know a lot of you guys are like freaking out like, wait, a stinger nuke? How are you going to get 7 kills with a stinger? I'm not. I'm just going to whoop the stinger out and just run around knifing people with my big tube stinger out. Uh, and that'll count as a stinger nuke since I have it out. Uh, anyways, 52 and 15, not bad. Um, yeah, and the AT4HS nuke is next week, so look forward to that. And I will have that on Wednesday, and I may upload a Black Ops video before then. But until then, thanks for watching, guys.